Hey, Kayla. I um, don't have long. I just felt obligated. Maybe not obligated, but inspired to respond to your to your latest video. Um, you're talking about relationships and sex, and I guess there's a lot I want to share because, you know, I basically had two sexual partners, both women, in a five-year period of time. Um, this was kind of leading up to the point where I went full-time. After I went full-time and, um, you know, was gradually becoming so much more comfortable in my skin, I've had three partners in six months, and, you know, none of them have been uh, long-term, like my, my long relationship. Um, but I was filled with thoughts that, you know, I'll, no one's ever going to like me, no one's ever going to want to be in a relationship with me or be have sex with me. You know, I was afraid that, that I would just be undesired for the rest of my life. Because I'm this weird transsexual, right? <laughs> but when I kind of put things in that perspective of I've had more partners and I've had more experiences and I've had a lot more fun and a lot more confidence in bed with people. Um, that's been, that's been really kind of rewarding. I mean, the problem that I'm facing now is finding someone to stick around, because <laughs> nobody likes to, uh, to follow through with me for some reason. But, I guess I can also say that, you know, sex for me, as a man, was really, really all about pleasing my partner. And, you know, when it came time to do the deed and have intercourse and get missionary and all this stuff. Like, I had so much anxiety and nervousness about it that, I mean, I never really could keep an erection. Um, even when I was fully operating on testosterone, it just, I would get nervous when it was time and I would worry that I was going to lose my erection and then, hey! And so, it just, sex was never a big part of my relationship. I mean, pleasure was, and I always wanted to please my partner, and um, since since being on hormones, and hormones have really affected my sexuality in a lot of ways. My sex drive, the way I feel pleasure, um, the kind of activities that I partake in with other people, um, really all those things have changed. And um, Ever since I kind of have really honestly been identifying myself as a female, and I've not been kind of facing this pressure of, oh, I've got to perform as a man, you know? Once I forgot about that, everything turned awesome. Like, I have a great time when I'm with people that, you know, I'm comfortable with and they are comfortable with me and that we're consenting adults um, and I can also tell you that um, kind of the last relationship I had before I went full time was really close to when I actually started hormones and, and went full time it was about two months after this relationship it was a very short relationship it was probably about you know we dated for about two or three weeks and we're still friends and I still had this male gender identity somehow, or I still had trouble with the phrase, I am a woman, because I had been a man my whole life, been a male my whole life, and it was still weird to me to think of myself, I am a woman, like that just sounded strange coming out of my mouth. Um, and so I felt like I'm this guy dating this girl, and in a lot of ways our relationship wasn't really typical, um, but it was also not a female to female relationship somehow the energy and you know I felt that same pressure to perform even though I was totally out to this person and this person had experienced me as Samantha numerous times you know I was very upfront about what was going on and um, you know we did what we did anyway and um, it was what it was it was for me, though, pretty a pretty confusing experience, kind of in my head, like being so close to going full time and not fully having my head wrapped around the fact that I am 
not what my body represents right now. And I am not what my body chemically represents right now. Um, knowing that and feeling these self-motivated pressures to kind of be what I'm trying to move away from anyway. It's really hard. So, you know, I guess I don't really have any words of wisdom, just that I believe that you will do what you need to do and that you will, you know, say things when you feel like you need to, to reveal them and you will communicate in the ways that you need for yourself to be happy and that if, you know, if everything goes great with all those things happening, then I am just happy for you. Brilliant. That's brilliant. So, good luck to you. 